In today's video, we're going to have a look at the request action bar, uh, which is used to update instance problems and changes. Starting from my request list, I'm just going to open one of these existing incidents. Across the top of the incident, we can see the action bar, which contains the different actions that can be applied against this incident. The first action allows you to collaborate either with other members of the support team or with the customer that you're supporting. Here you can leave comments, videos, or images. And selecting update will record this comment against the timeline of this incident. The phone action starts by providing you the customer's phone number. Following this, you can then make notes about any incoming or outgoing phone calls. Or in a situation where you're unable to contact that customer, you can schedule a future call. Simply by clicking on the schedule call option, select the date that you wish to call them back. And this will then create a task for that date. Next, we can add an attachment against this incident. Simply by a drag and drop, providing a description and uploading the file, we can extend out the information on this incident. We can now see the new section containing the attachment, which we can extend and view the information, such as the file size and the date that the file was uploaded. The link action lets us search and associate other requests to this incident. Once you've provided your criteria and clicked on search, you can then select from the results list which requests you wish to associate with this incident. Once associated, this and other linked requests can be viewed from the link request section. The email option allows you to send out emails regarding this particular incident. These are sent from a shared mailbox and also come with a definable template that allows you to construct the look and feel of your outgoing emails. The customer action allows you to change the customer that's currently associated to this incident. The assign action allows you to assign this request to a team and or support person who needs to service this request. The escalation action allows you to manually change the priority of a request. Here we can both change the priority and provide a comment for the reason for the change. Here we can see the priority has been updated and an entry has been added to the timeline to record when this took place. And the asset action allows us to associate an asset to this incident. So here I'm just going to look for a projector and select that. It's going to show us a list of available projectors. And again, from here, we can link that into this request. And the new sections added to the incident where this is stored. And the last item in the action list is the resolution and closure action where we can provide resolution details and closure categories for this incident.